before I start, just to tell you about the COVID coronavirus situation, I won't go into too much detail in that in the presentation because each university, we have our own policy, uh, our own uh, ways that we're going to deal with the coronavirus. So I can give you a general overview of what's happening in the UK, um, but just be aware that that could very much change before September, if you're looking for this September, and each university will have its own choices. So I will start the presentation now. So I'll share my screen with you. Uh, just give me one second. I'll try to share my screen with you. Okay. Yes, green button, share screen. Okay. okay. Perfect. Hopefully you can see that. Just one second. Okay, so I um, hope you can see this. So uh, this is me. I'm international manager at St. Mary's University in London. So you'll see here, um, this is a map of the United Kingdom. We have many, many, many universities in the UK. So this will give you an idea of some of the main towns and cities where we have our universities, but really they're, they're all over, right from uh, the southwest here, Falmouth and Cornwall, right up to uh, the west of Scotland. So we have a wide range of different types of universities, different courses, different rankings. Um, so really think about this. If you're thinking of the UK, uh, location is quite important getting the right university for you is quite important. So in today's presentation, uh, I will focus primarily on this area, the, the London area, which is where I live now and which is where my university is. Um, but also obviously we have many, many universities right across England, Wales, Scotland, and uh, Northern Ireland. But to give you an idea, just in London alone, just only in London, there are all these universities here. So we have many uh, in the center, uh, many of the, the famous ones, which you'll probably know, like uh, Imperial, King's, LSE, these are all here. And then we have some which are in more suburban areas. So this is where I am here, uh, St. Mary's University, that's my university in the southwest side of the city, but uh, we have quite a range. So I think London is, a huge city, uh, 10 million people. So there's obviously millions of students literally across the, the whole city and many, many different types. So um, really think about this. The, the advisors here, the, the, the counselors can help you find the right university for you. So that's very, very important. So just going to a bit about British culture. Yes, of course, <laughs> we love our tea. It's, tea time, it's very important. So uh, I've got a nice seat with me now. So if you do come to the UK, you'll definitely see a lot of this. Another stereotype that we have in the UK is bad weather. Um, well, we think it's bad because we live with it the whole time. Of course, it can be like this. But also, we do have some really glorious, nice summer sunny days. So the last few weeks in the UK, it's been really, really good. Uh, and we do have beautiful beaches as well. So if you think you'll miss the climate of Turkey, don't worry too much. It's not always like this. <laughs> we do have some good days like this also. Um, but to get to the more important parts, we have two different types of universities in the UK. We have city universities, call them city universities. These are universities which are often in the town center or the city center, and they may have different buildings all across the city. So it might not be all in one place. So this is in uh, East London, a place called Whitechapel. So maybe you have different university departments located in different buildings. Um, often uh, within shopping areas, within government building type areas. So it will give you a very, very different feel um, to if you have the other type, uh, a campus university. 
So this is where you'll have everything on one site, all in one location. So again, it depends on what type of experience you're looking for. Uh, maybe this idea appeals to you, or maybe you want something where you have everything all together, all the services, the accommodation, the teaching facilities, uh, all in one place, almost like a student village. So it does depend on your, your general feeling of how you want the university experience to go. And these campus universities are often a bit more historic, a bit more green, uh, which is the one where, where I work for. Both have advantages and disadvantages. Definitely depends on you and the type of experience that you want. So a big part of university life in the UK is the societies. These are the clubs that make the kind of social side to your university experience. So obviously the academic side is very, very important. You're there to study, you're there to get good grades, you're there to um, improve uh, in your field of interest. But also the, the social side is really, really important. Um, we want you to feel part of a university community. I think every university you speak to will say that. We want you to, to be part of the, the bigger picture of the university. So just to give you an idea, you might have all these different clubs that you can join. So this is where you can meet friends, make friends, spend free time, have social events, uh, parties, uh, gatherings, campaigns. So they might be related to your course, so like uh, business, physics, or it might be something that you just uh, enjoy doing. So filming, fishing, football, uh, radio, choir for singing. We have some incredibly more like kind of stupid fun ones like the Chocolate Society or something like that. Or it can be something very, very important to you, uh, more to do with charities, more to do with religion, more to do with um, your kind of social output. Okay, so that's one thing that is big in the UK, the social side of the university. And also in many universities, sport uh, also plays a part. And uh, don't worry if you're, if you're not into sport, you're not forced to take part in a team at all. That's perfectly okay, but we know for many people this is another good way to kind of make friends, keep fit, be part of the community. So just to give you an idea, at the university where, where I am, these are all the different uh, sporting clubs that we have. So right from, obviously, football is very big in the UK, soccer, so we have that. But you'll see here, it might be some less, um, less common sports, things like uh, volleyball, or even frisbee. <laughs> so we have something for everyone uh, here. Now, obviously, coming to a different country to study, maybe you think it could be expensive, too expensive, or maybe your parents uh, are thinking it will be very expensive. It doesn't have to be if you budget in the right way, or if money is not a question for you. Um, this will give you an idea of what you can expect to spend each month just to give you an idea of of how of how much you should be spending or could be spending uh, in the UK. So here I've given you an average idea of a kind of low end if you're really trying to save money, or an upper end if if you're lucky if <laughs> money isn't a question for you. So obviously thinking about accommodation, which I'll come to later. This range is greatly from like five five hundred pound a month up to a thousand pound a month, depending on where you live, uh, as in which city you live in, depending on which type of accommodation you choose. Do you choose to live in the university, or will you share with friends? Do you have your own room or a private room? Things like this. Food, very very easy to kind of eat well, but low cost in the UK. Um, there are many many the places to eat out are many um, low cost supermarkets, but also there are many pricey restaurants. So uh, this can vary quite a lot. 
as can your phone, clothes, transport. Again, this all depends on where you live, the kind of type of lifestyle that you have. So to give you an idea, this is all in obviously in British pounds of how much you could expect to spend just if, if you're thinking you need to, to budget slightly. So thinking about that, accommodation could be on top of the course fees, it could be one of the, the more expensive parts that you really need to think about. So most universities offer accommodation in one way or another, in one form or another. This might be catered. So catered means that you get some food included, um, as in some food already cooked for you uh, in, the, in the university restaurant, in the university cafe. Um, it might be one meal a day, it might be two, uh, it might be three, depends on the university. Or you can choose to go self-catered, which is where you have to cook everything yourself or provide every kind of food for yourself. So you'll have a, a bigger kitchen, um, but you won't have any food included in the cost. So again, think about what you want. Think about if you want to be cooking all the time, if you want to be eating out all the time, or if you'd like this idea that you can get some meals a day already included. Usually, when you pay for accommodation or when you choose university accommodation it will be for the academic year so they will kind of give you a contract for about 37 weeks of the year so it's unlikely that the the vacations it's it's unlikely that the holiday time will be included in that so you'll just have your room for the semester for the academic term time okay and there are a few different choices that you have. Most universities will offer a range of rooms. So it might be what we call a twin room, which is where you have two people in the room and you have a shared bathroom. Um, although this year due to COVID, uh, this is very, very unlikely that universities will have this option. Um, the most common type of room in the UK is this a single room. So you have your own bedroom, but maybe you share a bathroom with other students in your block, in your building. So this might be, depends on the type of building, might be four of the students, might be five or six of the students, you'll have a shared bathroom. Or something which is becoming more and more popular and more and more expected is this idea of a single room. So your own room and your own private bathroom, an ensuite bathroom. So Again, do a bit of research. If you're looking for this September, um, be careful because there will be a deadline for when you can apply for accommodation. Yeah, so you'll need to make sure you get your choices in pretty soon. Um, a lot of universities guarantee accommodation for the first year of your study. Again, maybe this is on campus. Maybe they say, if the campus is full, we'll find you a room off the campus somewhere. So, so have a look at the offer that the university has given you. Uh, but of course, there are other options. If you don't want to go with the university, you can choose maybe homestay, which is where you stay with a family. Maybe they live in a big house and they have a shared room. They have a, a, free, a free room, so they want students to come in. Or they like the idea of having an international student come to live with them. It could be a good way for you to get with the British culture, experience that side. Or you might choose to share privately, where you can find other students who want to maybe rent a big house and you each have your own room. And usually this is how we do it in the second year. So maybe live on campus for the first year. The second year, you with your friends that you make the friends that you now know, you can then rent privately. So most universities only provide accommodation for the, for the first year. So that's worth uh, thinking about. <laughs> okay. So just to tell you a bit about my university, um, whilst, whilst we're on the subject of 
the UK universities. So what I'll tell you now is specific for St Mary's. It may also, some parts may be true for other universities, but to give you an idea, so for, for us, for all those universities in London, I told you, we're top for course satisfaction. So the students are extremely happy, extremely satisfied with the level of teaching that they get and the quality of teaching and the course that they have. Thinking about accommodation, uh, this is guaranteed. We've extended this until June, so if you're thinking of us, there is still time for you to have this guaranteed accommodation. We like small classes, so we want you to feel part of the university. We want you to feel valued and not just a number. So the average class size is quite small. So you have that contact with the professor, you have that contact with the other students. We want to keep it this way. So this is the average. Some are much bigger, some are much smaller, but this is the general feel of the university. We have a great campus in a very, very safe neighborhood. So I told you we're in Southwest London. Uh, we're in the Richmond neighborhood. It's a, the, one of the safest parts of the city. Um, a very, very nice place to live. So if safety is a question, um, it's, it's one of the better places to be. We have work placements on all of our courses. So all of our undergraduate courses, we can find you an internship. So this is done as part of the course. So usually in the second year, in the second semester, for one day a week, we can find your work placement in a real company in London or near London. So you can get that experience, that work experience, at the same time that you study. You don't need to break your study. You don't need to extend it. It's done at the same time, integrated into the course. We have top level sports facilities so we have olympic olympic level sports facilities many international teams they base themselves at the university in the championships uh, in tournaments when london had the olympics in 2020 many international teams base themselves on the campus so our sports facilities are not that good they're really really good and for us here we also have fairly low fees so in the uk it can range from about twelve thousand up to twenty thousand pounds per year depends on the university depends on the course and um, for us all of our undergraduate are the same price 12 to 50 and there are scholarships now most universities will offer some type of scholarship it could depend on your academic grade so if you get the top grades maybe you get this. Um, it does depend. So ask the universities you've applied for about scholarships. It's very, very unlikely you'll get a full, full scholarship. Usually it's a discount of a few thousand pounds, depending on the course, depending on your academic grade. And for us, our entry requirements for Turkey, 60% is a very, very minimum. We require 60% or higher in your high school diploma, or if you're doing things like the IB, about 28 points or higher. Okay, and just to finish, I'll show you a few photos of university. Um, so these are our popular courses, so everything from business, law, sports, psychology. We have a lot there, so definitely check out the website speak with these counsellors, the advisors, they can tell you if our course is good for you. So I spoke about a city or a campus university before. We're a campus university in the more suburban side of the city. So we have these beautiful historic buildings and a really nice kind of relaxed, uh, green, safe area. So all about the riverside living, uh, the countryside is nearby. We've got parks, nice cafes and restaurants, old palaces nearby. But then central London is not too far away. Just for us, it's 30 minutes, so you get a good balance. You get everything here in central London with all the famous buildings, the culture, and you can come back to this more 
relaxed screen neighborhood. So uh, first you can check out a virtual tour. So I definitely recommend that. I think most universities have something similar. So if you're, well, especially now, because you can't visit the campus, um, check out these virtual tours where you can fly around the campus. So this is my email address here. I will put it in the, the chat function as well so you can contact me directly. But feel free to ask me things about this presentation, UK universities in general, or about this university here. So I will stop sharing my screen. Just one second. Okay, so uh, first of all, let me just put my email address here. And then feel free to ask me any questions. Just one second. Okay, so I put my email address there. So it's my name, gregory.baron at stmarys.ac.uk. Uh, feel free to email me, but let me just look. Um, let me see if there are any questions here that I can answer now. So, um, okay, yeah, I've just put my email. So uh, do you have any questions that you want to ask either through a chat function uh, that I can answer for you now. Uh, feel free to type it there. Uh, if not, uh, send me a, an, an email and get in contact with these uh, great advisors here. And I can, I can get back to you. So, okay, some questions here. Okay, uh, scholarships in postgraduate, so for masters, yep, there are some scholarships depends on your application. So we look at your university grades, we look at your letter of motivation, your personal statement. But for, for us, we have um, postgraduate scholarships are about 1,500 pounds discount. So I'll just put this in the chat function for you. Okay, and yes, you can apply for this year, so for this September. Um, so we are taking applications. We're still taking applications. We don't know 100% how the, the teaching will go because of, of COVID. As much as we can, we want it to be face-to-face, -face, but maybe this will change. Maybe we need to do more things online. But at the moment, we plan to open the campus at the end of September. So the 20, 28th of September, I think, we plan to open the campus for all students to come, for UK students and international students to come to the campus at the end of September, and hopefully have face-to-face -face teaching. Maybe this could change um, depending on government advice, depending on how the COVID situation changes. So, so please, Please bear that in mind, but we will update you. If you if you email me or if you send an application, we will make sure you stay updated. So uh, yes, you can apply for this September. Just type in for you. Okay. Uh, someone asked if they if you get a high high school grade and uh, like 95 percent. Um, you can't get a higher scholarship, but you're more likely to get a scholarship. So the, if you're coming directly from high school, um, the scholarships are £3,000. Just put this here. And that's a £3,000 discount uh, from year one. So that means in year one, you'll pay 9250 then year two, 12,000. 12, so absolutely, 95% is a, a great high school grade. So we will we'll welcome your application and that will give you a much better chance of, of getting that scholarship. 
And uh, someone asks, uh, are there any mosques or anything near, near the university? So in the university, we have uh, a chapel, but we also have uh, a multi-faith room. So uh, this is a room where a place where any university, can, sorry, any uh, religion can, can use um, spiritually to come and pray. Um, most years we also have an Islamic society. So I showed you the list of clubs and societies. Um, most years we have a Islamic society. So the other um, Muslim students can come together, share ideas, share events. So uh, there is a multi-faith room. I'll just put this here. Uh, for prayers and also uh, not directly near the university, but uh, within Southwest London, uh, there, there are mosques. So um, if you want, um, if you if you search for St Mary's University, you'll see the in Google Maps, you'll see the area. You can see where the nearest mosque is. So in some areas of London, not too far from the university, there's a, a bigger Muslim population. So there, there will be more mosques uh, there. Uh, on campus. Um, sports scholarships. Yeah, we have some specific sports scholarships. So if you're an extremely high level of the sport in your country, um, you can get some access to the sports scholarships. But usually the, the international scholarships that we can offer you, the £3,000 undergraduate, um, it's actually better. It will, it will give you more, more of a discount. But yeah, sport is very, very important for us. Many, many of our students uh, have gone to the Olympics. Uh, former students have gone to the Olympics. So we want good sports players. So um, whoever asked me about the sports scholarships, definitely send me an email and we, we can see about your application with that. Okay. Uh, let me just check other questions. Um, pharmacy, uh, unfortunately we don't have pharmacy at this university. Anything medical is a bit more sports related or things like psychology, um, physiotherapy, rehabilitation. Yeah, unfortunately we don't have pharmacy. And let me check here. Any other questions? Uh, Internships, have a look at, if put that in your application, if you've done an internship, that will help your application. Uh, somebody asked what does HONS mean in the course? Uh, it just means it's a, a, a high level degree, a high level uh, degree course. Uh, PhD programs, we have some PhD programs, it's very, very specific to each department. So if you're looking for PhDs, um, again, send me an email and we can see if the professors are looking for students because not always professors are looking for a student, but uh, we can support you with that. Okay, let me just see if there are more questions. Uh, languages, um, we have languages for if you want to, if you want to be a teacher of languages. So if more, if you're looking to be a teacher in a school and teach languages. We have a teaching program for teaching languages, but if you want to study a language like study French, German, something like that, uh, unfortunately we don't have that at this university. And also someone asked about architecture. Uh, unfortunately we don't have architecture either. Um, our main courses are business, uh, international relations, criminology, law, psychology, sports programs, um, film, education. Uh, I can send you, if you check the website, which I'll also put here, uh, you'll be able to see the, the full uh, course list. But I know for sure that other universities who from the UK who are here today, they have architecture and they have languages. So check with the, the advisors. Um, they'll be able to to point you in the right direction. Uh, somebody asked 
without discount or scholarship, um, what is the cost? So for for one year, uh, it's twelve two fifty. One year. Okay, so twelve thousand two hundred fifty pounds for one year. That's for undergraduate masters. It's only a one-year program anyway, and that's thirteen six fifty. Okay, uh, science programs. Again, anything scientific um, is a little bit more uh, sports-based. So uh, if you're looking for biology, it'll be more to do with exercise, the human body, uh, fitness, uh, strength and conditioning, um, physiotherapy, rehabilitation, that side. So um, maybe that will work with your biology side, um, but just have a look at the, the course list and you'll be able to see the, the exact details of the courses to make sure it's, it's the right course for you. Okay. Um, yeah, so, okay, I think unless there's any more questions, we'll finish there, but um, hope you really consider studying in the UK. Hope you really consider studying here at St. Mary's. I actually live near the university and I chose to live here. I chose to live near the university um, because it, it is a very, very nice place to live. It's a very nice part of London. It's a beautiful campus. Uh, it's a beautiful part of the city with rivers, uh, parks, nice restaurants when they're open again nearby. So um, yeah, it's it, it's a good a good balance of city life. So I think I think I'll we'll say goodbye now and hopefully i'll let you get on with exploring the the other universities that you have here today but let me just put uh, my email again just so you have it okay it's one more question here uh, education ma degree so that would be for if you want to work in schools um perhaps if you want to like into being a, a teacher, we have more specific teaching programs. Uh, an education MA degree will give you a background to either leadership in education, um, how schools should run, how schools should operate, um, how you can work with education outside of teaching. So maybe how you can use your, your background to help with the leadership and with the operational side of schools or with um, sharing culture and society with uh, with students okay um, so one more question does the fee include dormitories um, so no so you have the fee so you have about twelve thousand pounds a year for the fees for the course and then um, I showed you a slide with the monthly cost the accommodation the dormitories is additional to that yeah so it depends on the type of accommodation you have so maybe an extra um, 600 700 pounds a month uh, to go on top of that and london can sometimes be expensive um, it depends on your lifestyle but it does depend on the university you choose so like i said for us our fees are quite low we have very, very good accommodation options, which include, so for us, you can have the catered option where you have your breakfast and your dinner included. So that will, that can save you money, it can save you time. So in general, London can be expensive, but it doesn't need to be. If you choose the right university with the right cost, with the right accommodation options, if you live your lifestyle, kind of how, how you want to live it, uh, it can be more, affordable okay just one second just one more question um research assistant um not usually it depends on the year depends on the semester depends on the program um it does very much depend on your area of interest so if you're looking for a research assistant position um yeah, the best thing to do is to, to check the website. If it's something very specific, 
definitely send me an email. We can see if there are the options there. It does definitely depend on uh, on each year. It's very different. It depends what the professors want. Okay. Um, okay. I think we'll make this the last question. Okay. So if there are any more, then definitely send me an email. Uh, just one more question. <laughs> Difference between American English and British English. Yeah, there, there is a difference. Uh, there's a difference in accent uh, and some words are different. Sometimes some spelling is different. In general, it's, it's very much the same. Um, we watch American TV in America. They watch British TV. So um, there's no, well, there's rarely an issue with understanding. Um, maybe some of you can tell my accent is very British. It's a very British accent. Um, so that's probably the biggest difference that you'll see. Maybe if you watch many, many American movies, you'll think people in Britain sound a bit different, but really the, the language is the same. One or two words are a bit different, but, but it's, it's almost the same. So um, don't, don't worry too much about that, that difference. And any kind of different words, <laughs> you will you will quickly you will quickly learn the the British words for. Um, and how long will it take you to get to speak British English? Um, depends how much you want to kind of take in. If you really listen to how other people speak, you will pick it up after a few months. But if if you are speaking more American English, don't worry. Um, especially in London, we have people from across the world speaking English. If you speak with an American accent, if you use more American slang, it, it, it's not a problem. It's not a problem at all. Okay, so uh, I will say bye now because I think um, we could continue for quite a while and I don't want to take more of your time. But definitely drop me an email here. We're open to applications. Um, I know that the guys here uh, are working hard to find you the right university. So uh, thank you for your time. Uh, take care. Um, stay safe with this crazy COVID situation. And good luck for your university choice and career. Okay. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Gregory. Arkadaşlar okay. e, sen Maria standından standa girip chat yapabilirsiniz. Fuarımıza yönlenebilirsiniz. Oradan da sormak istediğiniz sorulara cevap bulabilirsiniz. Çok teşekkürler. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.